Hello friends and family, welcome back to another Fallout 76 tips and tricks video. Now we have not done these for quite some time, um, it's been probably a year I'd say since I've uploaded a proper tips and tricks video, but I am excited to say that there is another one coming. Let's get into our first tip of the day. When you leave Vault 76, you want to go down, straight down the stairs, and there'll be a thing called a donations box. And I'm not going to take, actually I will take because it'll be different for all you guys. Your loot in the donations box will be different to my loot, and it's separate. Um, not sure who they are good on them for being there people can also leave you loot uh in a few loot boxes that'll be found just wandering around here and people that are here is it, what vault oh does he have the vault 33 back i'm gonna actually drop something for him uh let me just drop something random uh, what's something he can have some Nuka Cola candy, I'll give him like 50 of that. And some Nuka Quanta, I'll give him like. I'll give two of those. There's his little handout. Hopefully he likes it. But yeah, that's tip number one. I'm glad to be of service to you, fine. Fine comrade. Anyway, let's get into tip number two. My tip number two will be to set up water purifiers. Set these bad boys up set as many as you can now it's better to set up the purifiers in water the those are the better ones but these bad boys you're just going to want to then go to a a vendor so let's go to grafton station and we'll i'll show you how much these bad boys will sell for it's not a lot but you can accumulate a lot of purified water quite quite quickly if you have enough okay so we will go here a side tip will be that people yes will leave oh okay donations box people will leave they actually just changed that that used to be a different thing but people will leave good loot in these suitcases that are located just around where the stations are which is quite nice quite nice before we actually go to the vendor bot, I'll show you, you want to, uh, I actually forget because I haven't been on for a while, but yeah, you're going to want to get rid of inspirational and put in hard bargain, whatever, whatever you have. Um, let's go. Uh, food and drink. You can sell all, all those as well, but purified water will sell for a four each. Now, that's quite good. Selling 10 will give you 40 caps, which is quite, quite nice. I'm going to sell a few other things while I'm here. I'll just give you a few other tips. Just sell if you don't use alcohol, if you don't use whatever. Before you actually sell any meat make sure you cook it there's just cook the meat before you'll get more caps glowing meat actually sells for a good amount uh yes deathclaw steak sells for a good amount now oh, i have a few of those sell five uh gulper innards i don't care mothman eggs back to like what i was saying just easily it's it's quite easy to put down a few water purifiers at your camp yeah it's it's not too bad not too hard to do that and i think they'll collect max two at a time but if you set up 10 you'll get 20 every i think it's every 10 minutes or i'm not actually sure but you'll see we just went and um there won't be anything yet. I think every 10 minutes you'll get one. I, I think that's how it works. Yeah, that's tip number two. Tip number three will be for you beginners. As I know, there's a lot of beginners joining. Um, but you will want to sleep in your bed. Now, it'll take probably 
30 seconds a minute um but sleeping in your bed will give you a bonus of five percent xp which is quite quite good if you did this every time it's it's gonna add up uh i think it gives you about uh an hour half an hour i think it's an hour we'll come back and, and i'll tell you when it works all right so now we're well rested we'll press tab and we'll go to our stats effects we are well oh it's two hours of five percent boost which is absolutely amazing so yeah make sure that you do do that tip number four will be i'm gonna go and look at my own camp but tip number four will be to go to other people's vending machines search them out um they might have something good they might it's like look i mean this isn't amazing but i'm selling 10 945 10 millimeter round for one that, that'll be pretty much like that's normal you've been insulted 40,000 caps don't ever buy those I have those there for people who feel generous and want to get rid of for some reason 40,000 caps do not ever buy this there is absolutely no reason to um, buy these I have them as a joke there uh, yeah <laughs> yeah but I'll, I'll try and find another camp who is selling stuff. There's an event going on right now. Or either I'm blind or whatever, but I can't see a single camp anywhere for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if they've changed. Okay, we'll go to this vendor. You can go to your world activities, press all, uh, and you'll just be able to find vendors so they have eight three star armors six we'll, we'll go here i don't actually know where it is on the map we shall see if they have anything good this is such a nice place good on this guy i like i like his camp his vendor bot machine okay he's selling stuff quite expensive so you're not going to want to buy from here but if you do by any chance um come across they might sell something three star for a really good price now i don't really feel like buying anything because i don't really need anything at the moment but there is some there can be some decent stuff found at camp locations uh yeah scrap some items going into camps in general to be honest is one of the coolest things you can do because you can check out other people's camps and see see get some ideas from what they've done and maybe implement them into your own camps one thing that i do like to do oh they're cool they are cool <laughs> one thing i like to do is don't do this but you can see other people's water purifiers well wow, that was that was inappropriate that was inappropriate Sometimes camps, though, they will have their own water purifiers. That oh, what the hell? I've never used that before. The water purifiers that you might be able to take from some people have them locked. It appears that this one doesn't have any. Yeah, well, that was tip number four to just make sure that you go to other camps and try and snipe some nice things oh those are camps i was like what the hell why can't i see any camps they're these tip number five that i have for you lovely people uh is that it's going to be to make sure that you go into your social and you join a team create a new team if you have to my favorite is to join casual because it's a bonus intelligence which means bonus experience uh which is good but you can also get other bonuses from joining others bonus endurance is quite nice bonus xp for completing daily ops if you're completing daily ops this is a must uh i highly recommend this over casual just for doing daily ops the other ones i'm not really too fond of unless you're with friends and feel like doing a bunch of events that that is cool 
and expeditions yeah my favorite though is casual just always be in a casual team if you're just obviously if you're just casually playing casual team straight away don't even question that's the first thing you do when you join it's it's better once you get uh players to join you that that is even better if you can't get in anyone to join you then it's still fine even just having that bonus five percent is good enough as i'll show you here casual team bonus one plus one i think that's five percent but i don't actually remember okay tip number six i got from this uh guy on x or twitter uh tarnished holy green he said that and i 100 percent agree with this this is why i will show you but going into your settings this is for brand new players it's uh going into pacifist mode yeah i have it off because i'm not too like fond of it i, I don't need it i'm a bit high of a level but to start off, I highly recommend going into pacifist mode because it means nobody can kill you. For the first maybe 25 levels, 50 levels, it's good to stay in pacifist mode. Generally though, I've never been in pacifist mode and I can say that no one really wants to kill you in Fallout 76. It's not really a thing. I, I've i killed maybe one person in my 500 hours of playing, so that's that's you know it's not really known to be a good thing to kill other players you get a bad rep i guess not that rep no one really knows who you are or whatever but killing people is not known to be the best thing to do in fallout 76 it's more reputable to help people in my opinion anyway you're free to have your own tip number seven that i have for you guys is to take over workshops take over the workshops that's what they're called sorry and the way you're going to do this is by just killing all the enemies around there'll be like a few waves of enemies that you'll have to get through and it's it's not too difficult but once you clear them everything here you get food one fertilizer one silver three steel one water three junk one aluminium one now when it says for example aluminium one this is one deposit that means it's got one deposit but when it says three what did it say three three silver that means it's going to have three deposits of silver which is quite good if you're looking for silver my favorite spot to go to though is let me show graft and steel i love to get steel i love lead and it's good for oil oil is a good thing to get i will quickly show you i'll take out the enemies at graft and steel and i'll show you what i mean exactly for the newer players that don't understand a hundred percent so usually uh Graft and steel has a bunch of enemies as you can see they're all here take them down let me pop a cranberry cobbler do i have a berry mentax oh here we go berry mentax all right berry mentax is so good for just added xp especially when fighting super mutants I find sometimes just watching people play the game though is just really good to learn how to play a new game. Fallout 76 can get confusing though. There's so many different things you can do now. It went from being the most basic game on planet Earth to the most like you need to do a lot of different things just to need to do a lot of different things. There's so many options i mean of what you can do there's not one thing anymore that you have to strive for sometimes there's a new controller quantum in there try and take as much junk as you can because i popped the berry mentats may as well take these guys down now these guys are only level 50 so not the most amazing i've taken most of these guys down i think i should be able to repair this is the steel extractor 
Not sure. Can we do this? 31 caps to claim. So now I can claim this workshop, which is brilliant. That's what we wanted. Now it doesn't take that long. You might get some players come try and take it from you, but don't worry about them. They're not going to do nothing. Most of the time. You might get some banana that really wants to take you down, but... Okay, so now we've completed claiming the workshop at Grafton Steel Yard. Now, there's an oil heap. Great. Let us go back here and build. We want to build. This is an oil. First we do that. Then we need to power it. So, we'll just go to power generators. Let's just build one. And I'll show you how it works. Okay. So now this is going to produce oil. It might take a little while, but eventually it will definitely produce some sort of oil. Sometimes, yeah, you'll get all these nonsense guys just come here and just want to fuck shit up. Don't worry about them. There's, there's not much to worry about with these. They're not going to do too much damage. Any of this, as long as you're prepared. Alright, so we defended. Amazing. And you'll get item rewards from doing that. Okay, so we've waited. And now we've got our one waste all. That took about three minutes, I'd like to say. I don't know. You, you'll see from the miscellaneous, however long that took. Whatever it was when I started to put it in now. So yeah, that is a great way to get resources that you want. Um, if you'd like junk... Uh, nuclear material is actually good from Red Rocket Megastop. I do like that spot. Uh, where else is there? Or food and water is good from Mount Blair. There's a lot of good, really good spots. Yeah, anyway, that is that. That was tip number seven. Now, tip number eight will be to when you get scrap. Now, this is going to seem really simple to players who play this game quite a lot but if you're brand new to the game do not drop your scrap it's best to go to a weapons workbench armor workbench whatever and just scrap your weapons just it's simple as that just press the scrap button and there is a perk that can help you with this it is wrapper scrapper yeah use that and you'll get more materials when you scrap i don't use it all the time because i don't need it but it is very useful if i'm honest now i'm aware that not everybody has fallout first but as the making of this video as of the making of this video fallout first is uh free at the moment i don't know how long it's lasting but yeah it's it's out a few a lot of you guys might have this option at the moment so the scrap box is absolutely amazing use that scrap box as much as you want look i got i've already got 68 steel scrap that is a lot of steel scrap for just like 10 minutes of playing so just chuck it all in scrap and store everything when you die you do lose your scrap like your junk items but it, it's fine. You can always just get them back from wherever the spot is. Unless someone takes it. But instead of being over encumbered, it's don't drop items. It's best to just find a scrap box, walk there, and scrap your items. To me, the most important items are like ballistic fiber is quite important. Everything I have, adhesive is important steel lead's very important for making bullets um flux is obviously important uh but they're not my top priorities they're good to have but they're not the most needed to be honest all of this if you like building wood and steel and i think it's concrete it's very um something that you really want as well to farm so yeah that's that's tip number eight tip number eight will be to just do all the events that do come up 
more the big events that would be like that they would come up here the featured ones they are the best way to be honest to get leveled up there's there are other ways but events is always the best whenever you see the scorch beast event coming up the blast zone a nuke about to be dropped go straight there that is hella loot you're, you're not going to get many better opportunities than that to level up fast there is also a great event that happens at i don't remember the, ah it's at emmet mountain disposal site and there's a great event that happens there so ever see an event happening there go straight there you, you won't regret that one i forget what it's called but uh, let, you can let me know in the comments whatever that one's called and help the other guys out yeah that'll be another good one a few other spots that you'd like to go uh even grind xp west tech i've made a video of this in the past but i'll update you guys and i'll just show you a quick little uh, run through of outside of just how many super mutants there are out here now super mutants are one of the best ways as well the best enemies to kill outside there's probably like i'd say like 15 that you can get now we'll pop a berry mentats and i'll show you always stay well hydrated as well actually guys well hydrated and maintain your food don't um, go too low. You get good benefits from being well fed and well hydrated in this game. Is it just me or is this gun like a bit all over the place? This gun used to be a lot better. Goodness gracious. Let me show you the benefits of being well fed. Fully fed, max HP, HP plus 35, strength plus 1, disease resistance plus 35. I don't know if there's... Well hydrated, AP regen plus 25%, disease resistance plus 25%. I'm over, like, I'm 60, 35 plus... 15 i'm 50 percent resistant okay that is absolutely amazing and 50 yeah i'm 50 percent. <laughs> my math isn't very good but disease it's not too much of a worry in this game but you you would like to be disease resistant because once you get it it's so annoying to get if you don't have any of those uh pills to take oh don't even get me started on those in the backside. But yeah, you can see I'm in much experience. 400. At a low level, this is quite good. If we go inside quickly, I'll show you guys that there is a scrap box that you would like to use. I do use it every time I come in here because if I don't, I will not be able to ever leave West Tech. You can turn right. I believe it's down here. None of these rooms. Oh, oh. Just around here. Let's see how it is. Jeez, that's taking forever. Okay, let's go up there. Get these two. Take it all. scrap it all here and we'll be i believe good enough to keep going yeah there's a little bit of good xp there 
another good spot to get xp just on the daily grind if you're going for just a few routes that you want to know is white spring white spring has so many enemies uh i can try and see if we can it's the golf course that we want to go to inside here quickly i'll just say there's the shops in here and there is so many plans like you can refresh these plans by you know exiting the game and then coming back but the plans in here there'll be a lot of plans that you will need to get good weapons good mods stuff like that in here good armor yeah good for crafting stuff how much xp do we get from these oh, 197 could be worse i guess you'll find legendaries here actually just rolling through economy wonder glue i'll happily take that uh a great great tip that you guys probably will know if you're experienced there is a water fountain here it is a sulfur water fountain if i had a disease right now it would take it away completely i don't have any diseases but if i drink it it takes away any disease that i would have this is the best spot if you do get a disease come straight here the spot on the map i'll show you is right here and it's quite easy to see because it's just there and the tennis courts are right here but back to the main focus is that in here a whole lot of ghouls would be here let me read oh shit i didn't think that what what the I did not see that. Always kill red stags when you see them. They give a when you cook the meat, it gives you a boost for carry capacity. But watch this. I'm gonna just run around, not fast. I'm gonna wake them all up. We'll get them all to wake up and follow me. I don't recommend doing this at all. Sensation right now. Love to see you. 
I'd like to thank you for uh, watching.